Okay, everybody, looks like we're looks like we're back on the Facebook airwaves. And uh, greetings from Lounge Academy, in the heart of downtown Buffalo's core lounge district. My name's Howard, and I'm looking up in the air because because we have we have four cameras, and I'm looking looking at this one. This is we always start out with this camera. We call this the the hair part camera because uh, we always like to make sure that that part is straight before we start the episode. And it's looking uh, it's looking pretty straight. There's one one little area right there that I'm not sure about, but uh, the overall score is very good. So well, welcome. And uh, what day is it? I is it just me? I can't tell what day it is this week. You know, we're in, we're in that z twilight zone between Christmas and New Year's, and it seems like every day is like a a Tuesday or a Friday or a or a weekend. I, what is it? Well, I'm not alone here, even though the hair cam makes it look like it. I'll show you some of the other lounge cadets here. They're going to join you in your evening lounging along along with us at Lounge Academy. This is the corner cam, and you can see over my... Mary, uh, don't stand anywhere else so people can see it. Come on up here, because people, they don't want to hear me blabbering. They want to hear you blabbering. My co-host, Mary Kunz goldman and Steve Graham. Oh, hey, I'm not your co-host, though, am I? Well, you are. You're the guest co-host. Oh, okay. Do you have a chair? Yeah, they're right at the piano. So. It's taken over, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's just, it's temporary. And as he's he should, he's the actual. The, he's the he's the real deal. He's he makes movies and TV shows and stuff, not this nonsense like I do. And uh, so that's Mary and Steve. Nice to see you, you two. It has been a little while, Steve yeah, Graham. Months, yeah. I, it hasn't been a little while for Mary. I run into her all the time. Oh. <laughs> Mary and the cat. Well, I see. I see all the time. Yeah, you're luckier. Yeah, I am lucky. And uh, moving along, this is called the shoulder cam because I name it that so I can remember what it's called. It comes over my shoulder, and you'll find that. Uh, you see, oh yeah, I'm in that right there. You're over the shoulder cam. Yeah. As the lounge cadets fill the piano later in the evening, right now they're they're over at the VIP table uh, eating some hors d'oeuvres. I see uh, Chris T-Bone there. Nice to see you, Chris. Don't make any plans. It's Friday, he says. We'll we'll have a, to see what the consensus is on what day that is. Donna's out there. Hey, Howard, have a great night. I am Donna, especially especially with you you in the lounge. Nice nice to have you here. And uh, I thought you were out with your girlfriend tonight. Was that, uh, didn't I see a picture of you guys out on the town? Camille is, uh, of course, you could be. You, I, I forget, you know, we don't have wall phones anymore. You could be anywhere. Right, Steve? Sorry? I keep thinking, you know, everybody, if, if they're on here, they're at home, like, like it's a wall phone, you know, but they, they could be anywhere tuning in. They could be. I could be on my phone right now. Actually, right, I'm going to do that. I'm going to. Here, here's me. Yeah, there is a delay. It's more than that. Yeah. Paul Cambria is out there about to say hello, I hope. Camille, nice to see you, young lady. She's, she's an important part of all our TV shows here, Donut Tuesday as well as Lounge Academy. Enjoyed our donuts and your mug. Went over great as a Christmas gift. Well, that's terrific. I'm very happy to hear that, Camille. It's good that Santa Goldman had made your Christmas happy. And then we've got this, got this far cam, and uh, I could hear, I could hear people, people all over the world are watching Lounge Academy. And you can see this is the far cam because you can see all the way across. Now you're looking at the back of Steve. Oh wait, he turned around. 
say that? That's why we have such high viewer numbers. Everyone here is watching. Nobody out there is. Karen Clagger, nice, nice to see you, Clagger. I was, I was, um, Karen, I was, I was, I found some old, let me, let me put on a camera where you can see me. Here's the corner cam. I found, I found some old uh, camcorder tapes. Remember when camcorders used to take tape? Well, I, I, I found some. I, I knew I had these things around and did. It's a seven, ten second delay, I think. Oh, it's pretty quick tonight, which is good. Yeah, it's a little yeah, get better, better uh, audience response times, you know, Yeah. if it's shorter. I've been trying to make it shorter, but I'm not sure if I have had any effect on it. Anyway, uh, Karen, I found some video tapes from 2001. We took a lot of, we used this camera a lot in 2001. Tremendous stuff. Electra, Jocko. It's, I, I was just like, before I came downtown today, I had to take a look to see what was on these about 10 different tapes. So I didn't get to look at all of them, but I, I jumped around, which takes a while with tape. You got to fast forward. Electra, it was just, just wonderful. I, 17 years ago. And it was showing lounge the way the lounge scene was 17 years ago. And now what's the lounge scene now? You're looking at it, right? They're all closed. And uh, we're here to keep the keepers of the flame, right? Keep the spirit alive. Keep the spirit alive. You're redefining it now. You're redefining the lounge spirit. Well... Redefining it? Well, we're, 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 bringing, we're bringing it to live streaming, bringing it to Facebook. There was no Facebook 17 years ago. That's wonderful. This way everybody can participate. From afar if they want to, if they can't make it down, like many times I can't make it down, I just kind of tune in and be, it's nice to see everybody. Yeah, it is. You know, it is. They are, this really does connect us because I feel, I, feel, I really feel like like they're here, yeah, it's the big when they're there, there. Yeah. because they are. Yeah. That's yeah. what that's yeah. what this uh, technology yeah. has done. Yeah. Right. The thing. I think a lot of people would come down if they could, but not everybody can. So it's nice to be able to tune in. Because we we right. not only hope so many. When we go commercial, we'll pack them right. in. Right. Right. Use the green screen. Right now we're happy to use you as as uh, lounge guinea pigs. Oh, I love Electra, Karen. She was the best. She really helped define that whole scene. I knew Electra before I knew before I knew Jocko and before I knew Mary. I'm not familiar with Electra. Yeah. I used to go to Fanny's, which I have some tapes of from 2001. Wow. So I've got Electra at Fanny's, and I've got her. There's Betty. Where's Fanny's? Where was Fanny's? It was um, on Sheridan near Harlem. Oh. Ryan uh, Betty's at the door. President Ryan, maybe uh, you can let Betty in, please. That's Ryan Lysar, president of WBIG TV. Hey, Mary, that's really Mary, that's really yeah, I've got, uh, I'm going to put these up, Karen, I'm going to put these up on YouTube. They're analog, so I have to figure out, and I will, uh, and go through uh, whatever the process is to load them in real time onto my computer so that they'll become digitized and then uploadable to YouTube. And I'll put them up on WBIG TV. Nobody, nobody in these videos from 17 years ago is going to care that they're on YouTube right now. And I'll, um, I'll send you the links. So, you know, just keep in touch. A ask me about it, because I'm going to be doing that uh, post-haste. Because I want those things protected. You know, one of these tapes breaks, that's it. Yeah. These things on YouTube, they'll be... 
immortalized. Gotta get him digitized. Yeah, I got this um, high eight oh. an analog video. Yeah, I did, yeah. I had to get a camera for him at one time, right? I, yeah. Yeah. I, well, I just. Do you have the camera still? Yeah. Yeah, I just unearthed all this stuff. It's like new. It's good quality. Really? Yeah, it's a Sony. Yeah, it's yeah. a yeah. night shot. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's what I have. Yeah, that it's, was it's amazing, amazing nice... how intricate these cameras are. All the moving parts and small. stuff. Oh, yeah. Small. That was like the smallest. Yeah, the oldest. Uh, compared to these, yeah. though, it's yeah. like. Yeah. The, 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 the mechanical. Change of technology mechanical. Is, yeah. Yeah, there's no moving parts go, in my camera. Yeah, you cameras, go from mechanical. Other than a lens shade. You go from mechanical standard depth, standard depth to, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it, like the stand, uh, solid state, what do they call it? Speak, speak oh, look at someone's got food for me right here. here. Two, <laughs> I love this place. Okay. Do you want some? Well, we love Tina. Made it. Let me give you a dish. It's really good. It's potatoes and ham. Tina's here, ladies and gentlemen. Home no, oh, viewers. Ryan. I'm going to give you guys the split screen now. Oh, wow. You can, oh, see. can I say hello? Tina's going to say hello. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, everybody. Yay! Hey, wonderful Howard. And here's to all the people that showed up on Monday for their donuts. Everybody showed up. I know, wasn't it awesome? Everybody honored their public pledge. Yeah. Anything with lard. It was very exciting. He is not open this Tuesday. I thought we were going to be closed uh, donut. Well, we were closed donut Tuesday because it was Christmas. And, um, so you made a donut Monday? Yes. Well, yeah, we did donut Monday. only online. In response oh. to public pressure, a, a few a few of the uh, donut cadets started getting pretty vocal and testy, you know. And they wanted, they said, well, "How about opening Where, my donuts? New Year's Eve? Ooh. I mean, you know, Christmas I Eve, in the so we can have uh, stocking <laughs> stuffers and Christmas morning <laughs> face stuffers." Oh yeah, Christmas morning. Awesome. Uh, we took it too. So, one of the major people that for breakfast. So, well, Tina was one of the grassroots promoters of this. And I said, <laughs> I said fine, if I could, you know, if I could make a minimum batch, as pre, if you pre-order or commit. I wanted to do a uh, Kickstarter just for fun. I thought it'd be fun to do like a real Kickstarter campaign. Yes. And to where if we could sell 36 donuts, then we'll open for Christmas Eve. And what, and 76? And, and I saw that coming Yeah, back. it was 76. So 76. <laughs> Way over your expectations. That's a lot of, that's a lot of dough. 76 donuts. And who's this? And Rich Sellers is here. He was there. Is that the young man with the beard? No, I think it was young lady. Oh, this is Mary. Mary, this is your plate? Rich was not. Yes, I'm going to get you some. Okay, we saw that. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so we, we we nailed the goal, and then we wound up going from 36 to 76 donuts plus uh, four mugs, and we wound up shipping some of them. We shipped 13 donuts out of town, and, and two mugs, three mugs, four mugs. What did, what did you ship? How, how do you ship the donuts? I shipped them. I I mean, how do you the like, prepare the donut for shipping? Well, I, think that's my I took one of the Christmas Eve donuts right. and I put each little bag in, into a, a Ziploc plastic. So you just get the donut, you place it in the bag. The whole, the whole paper bag and everything in there. And I, it took like a lot of research. I was happy to do it because I needed to do this to figure out how to do these, yeah, you know, like what yeah, kind of box to keep why. people like shipping as low as possible. Yeah, yeah. So I got that all figured out, and now I'm working on automating the website. Oh, oh, it has to automatically compute the postage for people. I don't want to charge a flat rate. I want people to pay only what the post office really would yeah. charge to yeah. get them their donuts. So, yeah. um, so they're not... You know, instead of paying extra postage, they could be getting an extra donut. You know, yeah, that's a good thought. or so sending, long, sending the kid to donut college. Uh, what's, the, what's the longest uh, travel time for a donut? Uh, like, like, cross country, like three days or two days? No, um, you can get it faster. Well, right. I mean, I sent my son dark chocolate and light chocolate sponge candy to my brother who lives in San Antonio for his birthday, and they hadn't been back in years. So I went to Watson's. And you probably rented a Learjet to send them their candy, right? Uh, they had to 
because it was 90 degrees in San Antonio when it was being delivered. No. So there was that extra little insurance so that it didn't melt. So they put it in you know, the dry ice block. thing. Uh, yeah, an, an ice container that they delivered it in. See, Tina does things right. right. Yeah. Back. But it was just a, just a surprise for my younger brother. You know, they've been away too long. Oh, that's a, that's a swell surprise. But, um, please, Jim. I want to hear more about this $10,000 you spent sending <laughs> chocolates to your brother. Or as soon as he took it out of the box, it held it in his hand because it was 90. And then he went into a uh, sugar oh, garden in the rest of Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, Rich. Hi, darling. How are you? I got my own car tonight. Approaching Good for you. Maybe not. But you know. Yeah, the lounge cadets. Yes, Richard, one of our favorites. Good kind of America. for you, buddy. Oh, so nice. And then for your store, too, outside. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I see. Oh, how pretty. Thank you, Andy. Great boy, he's fantastic. I was sitting there listening to uh, David Vernon live, and I was just thinking, man, this is so great just sitting here. I had a cocktail in hand, I had my pet cat in the other hand, I never mixed them up. Hi, Shirley Mayer. And I was watching David Vernon singing in a, in a Manhattan. Restaurant. I think it was on. I think it was on Restaurant Row in Manhattan. I heard somebody say that must mean something. And I was thinking, boy, if if someday my lounge cadets out there could just be enjoying our lounge academy as much as I'm enjoying David Vernon with my drink and my cat. Then, you know, we'll have succeeded. That David Vernon is something, isn't he, Mary? He is. He's wonderful talent. He's so intense. Yeah. He's in the moment. Lounge Academy tonight. I'm gonna raise the parking rates in downtown Buffalo. You're all gonna pay twice as much. And they never let go. You'll pay till 10 at night, and then they'll give you a ticket if you don't pay on Saturday. <laughs> the Lounge Academy, where they're raising the parking. Yeah, we might have to switch to Sunday. We might have to switch to Sunday nights. Chris McMillan is out there. Nice 
to see you. You got to come down sometime on the set with your pal Ryan, who's president of WWE. You know, you got connections around here. Everyone's talking about the parking downtown. Park yourself in front of your TV sets. Because we won't charge you $2 an hour. You'll be in Lounge Academy with you and me, Tina and Steve. It's a great night tonight with Alan back. Yeah. Alan's, Alan's been on a leave of absence. It hasn't really been Lounge Academy. He was actually AWOL. He was AWOL. He was AWOL. Yeah. Well, but he's back. We dragged him back. He's, he's, he says he's 91, but he's not. He's still got, what, a couple weeks? No, he's got like he's got four months. Four months. Yeah. yeah he's so, like, so he's got no business saying he's 91. Yeah. Four months. It's not like it's Monday. It must be different. You know, it's not like a rounding error. <laughs> Although they say the older you get, well, I, I could I could testify. The older you get, the quicker time goes. So maybe four months seems like it's tomorrow morning to him. I don't know. But Unless you're in a doctor's office. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So if you ever want to live longer, just keep going to a doctor's office. Yeah, if you want to bend time. Drag on forever. Why? Why shouldn't I take a chance when romance passes by? Why shouldn't I know of love? I wait around when he changes the same. Who has found that upon this earth love is all that is really worth thinking of? It must be fun, not so fun. When you'll be kissed, and then Tina will be kissed again. Oh, All debutantes, she likes that. Say it's good. Every star out in fire, Hollywood seemed to give it a try. Chris McMillan's fixing Valvos as he's watching Lounge Academy. That's amazing. How's the audio, Chris? Is it uh, any distortion? Is it loud enough? You can be my sound man. It's good to check these things out early in the show. Yeah. It's a technical out of the way, so the artist may be going through. So if they hear their name again, if they fall asleep, then they go, oh yeah, that's me. That's right. I know that that well, I hope Chris McMillan doesn't fall asleep. He's got his head in a Volvo. Oh, he's oh, fixing him. He's a mechanic at a really? dealer. Yeah. Oh, I need to go there. Where is he? Because I need some... That's because he does tail light work on a 90 Volvo 240. Of course he does. He works at the dealer. Oh, wow. He's Ryan's best, oldest friend. Oh, wow. 
Yeah. Yeah, you could always talk to Ryan about hooking you up. And then he's got his, uh, he's got his side operation too, you know, another side shot. Yeah. That's the way to go, right? Hey, Chris, did they just uh, raise your uh, repair garage license when you renewed it? They raised mine, and I asked them about it, and they said, yeah, they raised all the rates, but uh, they didn't put them in the uh, thing online, you know. They're not in the city charter if they just raised rates. They'll figure that out, though. But I got them to reduce mine by $175. Your, your, your I argued a legal point with them. And they agree. With who? The people at City Hall. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're nice people. But they are, but yeah. you have to find out which ones. You got to know, but you got you got to do your research. But I heard you can't argue with City Hall. Well, you don't argue. You got everything's there. You make it their idea. It's like being married. Right. So you give them the idea, and they bring it back to you. Works for Your idea? Oh my god, that's so awesome. Of course. Oh, he's not watching. You know he's not watching. He's selling uh, tissue paper, right? <laughs> I just put a new roll. Ryan, we're down to the last roll. Well, we need me to bring more. Well, we could, actually. That'd be small shipping. That, you got it. Might as, well, might as well get it from our friend, our cadets. I'm going to turn my sound on to see how I, if there's any distortion. Yeah, I, I don't hear any distortion or, or low modulation or high modulation. I think we're in good shape, which is amazing. We've had the last three episodes, we really got the audio dialed in, knock on wood. No homes. I'm going to sing this song. One of the lounge cadets brought me some flags. I think they're George Bush tribute flags because the flags are half staff nationwide over former President Bush. And, uh, so we'll, that's what these flags are for. Right here. Oh, yay. We're going to do something. So we'll do. These must be for George Bush. The uh, flags across the street are half mass. Somebody asked why they are. It's because I think for a president, they keep them half mass apparently for 30 days, somebody said. So. Well, I'm, I'm, happy, yeah. I'm happy with that because I didn't want to know yeah. is somebody. Right. Yes, I think that's because someone and his wife went to Iraq. From the island of Grand Island to the coast of Goldman, from north to south. East to west, you are the love, I love the best, you're the dream girl of the sweetest story ever told, a dream I've sought, both night and day. is very obviously Yes. Nice. 
sky of blue There's a warmth light shining Just on a kind of you Only I see Certain thing, baby, shining star, inspiration, worthy of a mighty nation. show of the same name of the I sing. Thank you, Tina. 1931. Gershwin and Gershwin. Goes out to Tom Marino in the audience, brother of famous big time lounge cadet Gary Marino. How you doing, old Tom? Am I going to see you over on uh, New Year's? Over at uh, the Marino uh, Cabaret? Here comes Alan, ladies and gentlemen. It's great having a lodge today, Alan in the house. Oh, that's good, GT. Thank you, George Apple, our official sound man. Yeah, you know, but we've been, I think we do have it dialed in. Hi, George. So what's good about doing these shows on a regular basis, you know, it's essentially the only way you can get things to work. You know, just got to do them regularly. We got to be regular. It just doesn't work out. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds been real good. It's very clear. On a clear day. Ellen, rise and look around you, and you'll see who the hell you are. On that clear day, how it goes down you, that that glow of your being, 
outshines every sky. You'll feel part of every mountain, sea, and shore. You can hear from far and near a world you've never heard before. And on that clear day, on that clear day, audience that's that's the thing about playing for show business people and our and our and artists they're sensitive it is relaxing it's relaxing for me too yeah we need this but in this this valley between Christmas and New Year's um, chicken wings? 2019. Is that what it is? Zoom. Oh. That's 2020. Look at the other thing. It's like we're in some Twilight Zone episode or something. Right. Things are moving fast in the world. Especially with technology. It's just unbelievable, you know? How can you keep up? I was looking at some tapes Mary and I found from an old camcorder, you know, video camera. You was doing it back then? In, in two, two, 17 years ago, 2001, a whole bunch of tapes. And uh, here come Nick and Kathy are, are entering the lounge. This is terrific. For the last time of 2018. It's Nick and Kathy. Nick? Hi, Kathy. Wow, look at Kathy. Kathy looks fantastic. She knows how to enter. Some people know how to enter a room, you know. And Kathy's one of That glamour just pours into the room. Works, works, works the crowd. And then there's Nick. Nick, look, Alan's here. And look how great he looks. He's, he's like reborn. Fantastic. Alan is here to stay, ladies and gentlemen. The more I read the paper, the less Tina comprehends. The world and all its papers, how it all ends. Nothing seems to be lasting That isn't our affair We've got something permanent I mean in the way You know what song this goes into? It's very clear Our 
love is here to stay. Not for a year, but ever and Just be passing fancies, and time may go. But oh, my dear, my love is here to stay. Together we're we're going a long, long way. In time, the Rockies may crumble, Walter may tumble. They're only made of clay, but. Our love is here to stay, and Nick's here to stay too. great too I mean I got to admit it he taught me how to he taught me how to be how to be forever young he gave me those exercises I do those things son of a gun you know that's the secret yeah they've really helped me yeah and you know I'm developing this fitness theory and I got a feeling like you're onto the secret of this whole thing all these people are spending hours in the gym and I mean, unless you're training for some, uh, training for something, like you need that strength for something. You gotta do your body. You gotta use your body. Nick, how old are you, sir? Eighty-seven. He's eighty-seven. And look at the guy. You talk to this little guy. He goes running across the street when the meter maid comes. Sometimes he catches her. <laughs> no, don't tell my wife. I caught her. Well, time to stop the ticket. So he gave me his, his morning fitness. Thank you, Ken. Happy New Year to you, sir. Oh, I just kept Wasn't too long ago you were sitting right in that empty chair right there. That's your chair. That's why it's empty. Right next to Tina. That's, that's for Ken Eccles. Tina? Too bad you're not here. You'd be sitting next to Tina. My daughter. Ron Pritchard. 
little, they were yeah. great posters for you. Little product placement. Did you make the decision? They've been here the whole time. Go where you're headed. Oh, the greatest white table. Yeah. I didn't see you. Oh, good. Yeah, the greatest white table. 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 Oh, This is exciting. This this is the way to end the year. Yeah. This is great. And here I thought it was going to be a dull night. We never know. We always think that. It's a great night. Uh-huh. I remember. Because I'm here. Exactly. You are here. Or 1970. Nervous, everybody. Ray Emerman is in the audience. It's great seeing you out there, sir. This one goes out to Ray Emerman and Ken Nichols. I had the craziest dream. You ever have a dream, Ken? It just seems so real. Last night. Yes, I did. I never dreamt it could be. There you were. In love with me. I saw your lips next to mine. So I kissed him, and you didn't mind it did at all. When I'm awake, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming, Nick? If there's a chance that you care. We say you do, my baby. Say it and make my, make my crazy dreams come true. next to mine, so I kissed you, you didn't mind it at all, when I'm away, such a break never happens, how long can a guy go on dreaming, if there's a chance that you can? Said and make my make my crazy dreams true. Said and make my crazy dreams come true. Right, Nick. Nick says I'm right. Thank you, everybody. That's a great song. I do hard. Every time a bus goes by, they hit this pothole out there and the whole place shakes. I have a note. Somebody should go out there and fill that up. With donuts. So I always think, <laughs> is it an earthquake? <laughs> Or simply a shock. Is it the good turtle soup? Or merely the 
It's like a Christmas card out there. Wood stove. Dungeon. They had snow. It was great. How about you? Nothing. That's a good way to spend it, too. Thank you. 
See that? See those re that reaction? Yes. <laughs> 
heart of mine. I was doing it very well. The world was fine. As far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you and I dreamed of Gilmore. One I woke up singing. Maybe somebody could Google it. Ever tell me she won't care? I'm certain it's the final curtain. Ha, 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 ha. 
is a fool to fall and get that way. Oh, I sing so I could dance. special song that we learned, we learned it without the book. Waverly, I find myself out gazing at stars, hearing guitars like someone in love. Waverly, the things I do astound me. I seem to walk as though I had wings. I'm bumping into things like someone in love. Each time I look at you, I'm with as a glove and feeling like someone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Yeah. 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 Ye
like someone in love. I'm feeling like someone in Lounge Academy. I'm New Year's edition. I'm very happy to take the year out on a night like this. Yes. But I'm easy to please, Alan. Yes. It's a way to be, right? Sure is. Be easy. It's not going to be any easier if you're not easy. Keep trying to have a trouble. Lounge cadets in the audience, Bill Jenkins, for spending your practice New Year's Eve with us. writers in the television audience. This goes out to Ann Apple, who's written a series of books. MKG. If they ask me, I could write a book about the way you walk in this bar. I could write the preface on how we met so the world would never forget and the simple secret of the plot is just to tell them that I love you a lot and the world as my book ends, how to make two brothers as friends who hasn't ruined a friendship by taking it to the next level? Well, Al Joey knew all about it. Oh, oh. Oh. 
Well, I think you might have slipped once. No. I don't think so. No, you know what? I disagree with that song. Sort of my experience, if you start out as friends, you're always friends. Yeah. It doesn't change. See, my theory is they never start out as friends. Although I've seen it with my friends sometimes. We started out as friends. Yeah, for about 20 minutes. Till the, til the next break. <laughs> Like it never occurred to me, you know. <laughs> yeah, that never happens. Somebody always has an ulterior motive. Always. I don't. I mean, if you were if you were friends with a woman, like best friends with a chick. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's old fashioned. Oh, good news, everybody. Everybody that watches Gummo's TV. Uh, Richard Craney's latest half a dozen of model 1901s arrived in Colorado. Uh, in great shape. Just moments ago. How about Richard Craney? His six donuts just arrived in Colorado moments ago. That's for you, Richard Craney. Fantastic. The eagle has landed. We have range and accuracy. We just shot hard to Aurora, Colorado. Nice. That booth, right? That booth has range. How does it do that? You use a giant slingshot or a catapult? Pretty much. Using the USPS on holiday season is like having a slingshot. You send it media mail? <laughs> no, I didn't use that with that trick. Probably good. They're so busy, this would be the week to do it, right? It'll get there. Cost like a dollar ninety. I told Barry we should write something on the donuts so we can send them by media mail. But then we thought, you know what, they might get stale. I cover the waterfront, I'm watching the sea, for the one I love, coming home to me, I cover the waterfront, in search of my love, and I'm covered by a starless sky. Here I am, patiently waiting, hoping and longing, how I yearn, where are you, are you forgetting, do you remember, will you return? Vintage label makers. I'm watching the sea for the one I love will soon be back to me. That's an oldie. 1933. It's not that old, but it's it's kind of a it's old. It's an old. kind of topical now with our new Buffalo Waterfront. Yeah. 
I park. I park in the waterfront. I'm watching my watch for the one I love. It's coming back to ticket me at two dollars an hour. I park in the waterfront in search of a free parking spot. Maybe under the skyway, covered by a starless sky above. Thank you, Kathy, for leading off that round of applause. They extended the parking meter hours at the waterfront a while back. Ah, this is new yeah, something new for them. I, I, I learned that from you, I think. Yeah, I learned it the hard way. Oh, geez. No warning? I didn't hear any. I just thought I could park. Apparently, it goes till 9 o'clock. Well, Ryan didn't know what time it was then. He met you. Oh, what a lovely time it was. How sublime it was, too. I didn't know what day it was. You held my hand. Like the month of May it was, and I'll say it was grand, grand to be alive and be young, to be mad, to be yours alone, grand to see your face, hear your touch, hear your voice, and I'm all your own. Life was no prize. I wanted love, and here it was shining out of your eyes. I'm wise, and I know what time it is now. Rogers and Hearts, from Too Many Girls. I never heard of that. There's so many shows. Yeah, I know. We should How can we have not heard of them? That's a great title. Yeah. Three or four every week. I want to hear 40 million. More. Same. 50 million French I get no kick from champagne. So tell me, PJ, can it be true that I get a kick out of you? PJ Lorenzo, ladies and gentlemen. Some get a kick from cocaine. I'm sure that if I took even one sniff, I would pour me terrifically too. I get a kick out of you. I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me. I get a kick, though it's clear to me that you obviously don't adore me. Gets no kicks in a play. Flying too high with some gal in the sky is PJ's idea of nothing to do. Yet I get a kick out of you.
some get a kick from cocaine. I'm sure if I looked around enough in this old bar, I'd find some, but it would bore me terrifically too. Yet I get a kick out of you. I get a kick every time I see you standing there before me. I get a kick, though it's clear to me, you obviously don't adore me. I get no kick in PJ's play. Flying too high with some gal in the sky. Nothing to do. Yet I get a kick out of you. You know, I get a kick out of you. Came in for a soft three point landing, DJ Lorenzo. Should be working now. Uh, the audio should be working, George Barrymore. According to the meters and everything here, play around with it. Turn it on and off. Oh, you can't hear me. Why am I talking to somebody that can't hear me? <laughs> Wonderful. You could be reading my lips. Here's one about not making any plans. Enjoy. Who in here doesn't make any plans? Mary doesn't make any. Kathy doesn't. Nick doesn't. Cameron doesn't. None of us make any plans. PJ is flying and drinking wine. Remember that, PJ. Eight hours from bottle to throttle, right? Or is it eight eight feet? Eight feet from bottle to throttle. I guess I'll have to change my plan. I should have realized there'd be another man. I overlooked that point completely until the big affair began. Before I knew what I was at, I found myself up on a shelf and that was that. I tried to reach the moon, but when I got there, all that I could get was the air. My feet were back upon the ground. I've lost the one girl. One girl I found. You didn't make any plans, you wouldn't have to change them. Right? Completely till the big affair began. Before I knew where I was at, I found myself. Myself and on the shelf, and that was that. I tried, I tried to reach the moon, tried to reach the moon. But when I got there, all that Nick could get was the air. My feet were up upon the ground. I found the one girl. I found the one girl. This goes to show. I tried to tell you, you don't listen. All right, we got George now. He's got his uh, Barry. Barry's got his headphones plugged in. Happy New Year, George. Barry. I keep looking at your. When I look at your name spelled out, I. 
and I'm multitasking because you're not here to play the piano. Howard's name is George, too. I love you. I'm the little breeze. I love you. That goes to the hills. I love you. The golden dawn of breeze. And once more she sees the daffodils. Start to sing again the old melodies. I love you. That's a song of songs. And it all belongs to you and me. Head Lounge Academy from Mexican Hayride. Here's a good song, DJ. I like these old songs like we do and you do. I may be wrong, but I think you're wonderful. I may be wrong, but I think you're swell. I like your style, say. I think you're marvelous. I'm always wrong, but how can I be wrong? All of my shirts are unsightly. I just did this one today. Wife, all my ties are a crime. I'm singing about laundry, Mary. If daring you, I've picked rightly. It's the very first time. I think you're grand, but I may be wrong. Thanks, PJ. Yeah, that's what these songs will do, yeah. Are the stars, are the stars out tonight? Anybody look? I don't know what this is. I know the stars are out tonight at Lounge Academy. There's too much star studded cast. Are the stars out tonight? I don't know if it's cloudy or bright. Guys, a brunette tonight. She's got a lot of characters. A girl with a lot of character. And a lot of 
out of characters. about breaking your hearts, all the things people should leave their broken hearts in the year 2018, I think. It's 2019. It's a whole new, it's a whole new ball of wax. PJ and Barry. I forgot which sad song I was going to do. It's an uplifting song. A song that Kathy always likes. If I look at you, and begin to sing. I'm not as crazy as I seem to be. mug from the Department of Coffee and Donuts. We had a big Christmas Eve. Uh, for any of the donut cadets out there watching, I'd like to thank you for convincing me to open on Christmas Eve out at the booth at our other TV show, Donut TV. And it was fantastic. I was so happy I did that. It really made my holiday. You could get your official mug at DonutTuesday.com uh, or BuffaloDonut.com. How sweet it is. No, 
Now back to our split screen. See, there's a lot of, a lot of action going all over the world. That's how things are. It's not, but if I don't practice the song now, guy, I won't be able to play it in the spring. Here's one for Here's one for all the clowns in the room. Yeah, you hear a clown knocking on the door. That's on, maybe it's Gary.
there was there was no end to the conversation about how absolutely massive these donuts were. Everyone was taken about everyone was taken aback about the the girth. It's a good word. Girth. 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 They are donuts of girth. Yeah, they are. So, and mass. So what, there's one woman said to me, she goes, Tom, I ate the whole thing. And she goes, guess what? Six hours later, it reformed in my stomach. It reformed just in the same shape. And, shape. and it was sitting there at 9 o'clock at night with this big donut. 1901. Hell. Hell. Wow. That's like getting two for one. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy Suzanne. New Year to you. <laughs> Wonderful to have you. Have you with us oh, as, as it always is, Suzanne. Here's the one that uh, all the married guys can relate to. I guess they leave now. It's about a guy and, and, a, and a, his wife, and they're, they're getting ready to, to head out to go to Lounge Academy. <laughs> and uh, the car, you know, started the car, and, and then they, they're heading to the door, and then and then she changes her outfit like three or four times. <laughs> I don't know. It had to be you. It had to be If it takes forever, I will wait for you. A thousand summers, I will wait for you. Till we're back beside me, till I'm holding you, till I hear you sigh here in my arms. That's how good singers are. I know it's sing arms. So we teach you a few little tips about Anywhere you wander. Anywhere you go, every day remember how I love you so. <laughs> Till your heart believes what, what my heart I know. someone else understands. I will wait for you. <laughs> If it takes forever, I will wait for you for a thousand summers. I will wait for you till you're here beside me, till I'm touching you forevermore, sharing your love. <laughs> Waiting for Sanders. Right, Barry? He never invited me back to his house again. Okay, we're going to de depress everybody now. We do about 10 heart breakup songs in a row. You know what? That's what these songs are really about. They're about the pain, the pain of love. If you actually got that out of the church, you used to call me up right. You're invited back. Come on, you can call me up right. I think it's an idea to risk I really do. I think any of you, there's some subsection here, some place along the line. 74? Donuts. What should we do here? We'll do this one here. We won't depress you yet. Hang on to those broken hearts for one more set. The L, which I know, because I thought in my mind 
I will now keep things interesting for you by changing the cameras.
Anaconda. I've got to crush my baby. Wow, Jim Corbett is in Rapid City, South Dakota, watching. Wow. Hi, Jim. It's great to have you there checking in, Jim Corbett. Usually he's on this side of the camera. Here's one for everybody who's getting their flu shots. I've got you under my skin. I've got you deep in my heart of me. Help me out, Tom. So deep in my heart, you're really a part of me. I've got you. I've got you under my skin. I tried so hard. And I tried so hard not to give in. Myself, self, this affair never will go so well. Why should I try to resist when, darling, I know so well? I've got time at my piano. I sacrifice anything, come what may, the sake of having you near. In spite of the warning voice comes in the night and I repeats and repeats in my ear. Don't you know it a fool never could win? Use your mentality, wake up to reality. But each time I do, just the thought of you makes me stop before I begin. I've got you on my I've got you on my I've got you I've subcutaneously Howard, from Born the Death. Good job, Tom. Great song about roasting a chicken. Yeah, it's about roasting a chicken, too. I'll tell you, my first, I tried to fry chicken. And, um, you know, the part, of the, the part of the experiment that I wanted to succeed, it did succeed. The, the crust had the right texture, crunchy. The cooking was proper throughout it. But I didn't like it. What was that concoction that you... Put it in before the bread. That, that was um, eggs, egg, water, and then salt. Why was it red? Um, Frank's hot sauce. Good question. <laughs> Chili powder, garlic powder, pepper. So it does this. Was this something you made up? Or no, I saw it on YouTube. And, pulls out. and I, I happen to have the stuff. And I like Frank's. And I figured whatever it is, you know, it's going to be whatever it is. I'm, I'm just, I just want to see how this breading process goes. And, and it worked. Now, you know, the egg is like nature's glue. And... Uh, so, but, but I didn't like it. I didn't like it for two reasons. One, I really don't like drumsticks. I don't. I don't like drumsticks for some reason. They're just. They're just they have that, that kind of greasy texture. I'm not a big fan. So that was a mistake. I never realized dark meat and drumsticks were like a, a thing. I just thought you pull it out of the bucket and it's in different shapes and. and so, so anyway, but I, I did not like the recipe. The chili powder was overpowering. I should send you some links to some of my favorite YouTube cooks and air fried chicken recipes. I will, and this time I'll go out and I'll buy the particular things that I need for it. You know, instead of just relying on what I have. And, and I'll, I'll get it. You know, another thing I'm, I'm even more excited about. I want, I do want to get fried chicken down, but you know. 
I want these to be like bar food, so when we open, I can and, and start doing lunches and doing things. I can make things that people really like the best, you know, not the, the lard fries, the chicken wings, the donuts. Those are in the bag. You just need a small menu. I do, I do. Sometimes my skin is on the potato. I bought a chef's knife. Glides right through. It's just a pleasure. I make them every day. You know, I'm gonna. I could just do. I know them inside down. I, you know, you, you do something every day. You encounter every possible little. Well, you never encounter them all because you learn that there's always variables. So I want to learn to be able to control my potatoes. You know, so when the pressure's on, that part I'll have down. You know, it's like it's like music. You want to know the song. You know, before you're gonna try to. This year, 2019, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, um, so anyway, I was thinking, you know, this fried chicken. I don't. That, I I don't know. I wanted to learn how to do it just because I like fried chicken, but I don't really think that's a great bar food for us. It's it's just messy and big, and it's. Are they like chicken fingers or something? Tiny hamburgers. Oh, oh, sliders. Yeah. Now that would be yeah, yeah. On charcoal. You know. Yeah. I, I, that that I'd like to do. And steaks. But you know what? I'm, I'm for the deep fryer. The thing I'm excited about doing next is the obvious thing. You know, and I I haven't gotten around to it is um, fish fry. I want to get down a Friday fish fry, you know? Because I love frying. I love frying in lard. And, uh, and I love fish fries. And I love french fries, so, you know, they, they have to have french fries. They have to have coleslaw. They have to have coleslaw. Macaroni salad, potato salad, rye bread, and butter. You gotta have all those things. And then people take their socks. No, no, no. All three? All of them. Oh, yes, they have French fries, coleslaw, macaroni salad, potato salad, rye bread and butter, tartar sauce, a lemon wedge. That's the way the classic Polish taverns did it. You didn't, none of this choice of potato. And you get them all. You get everything. You get, you get like, a, like a mound of each? A little, a little like a scoop of each? A little scoop of each. You know, some places you go, they give you a mound of potatoes. I prefer a little scoop of each. A scoop of each. You can enjoy everything. Okay. Well, Ryan's in charge of my menu and my drink menu. Does that mean I have to make all the... No, I, I'm, I, I, like, I like to cook. Yeah, yeah, I'm the chef. I love it. And you could be like one of those places where they just buy a bucket. You, you could do the bar. I'll do, I'll do the kitchen. Well, they're all going to be out, you know. We'll, we'll be, you know, next to each other. Because I don't want to be back in the kitchen hiding. I don't, you know, you got to do, do everything where the action is. Seven, it's seven degrees where Jim Corbin is, Nick. Jim Corbin's in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota. Jim Corbin. Jim Corbin. He's in South Dakota watching. It's seven degrees. Seven degrees. Does your wife know you're gone? Why did I wander? This goes out to Jim Corbin. He wandered all the way to South Dakota. Here and there and yonder, wasting precious time for no reason or rhyme. Isn't it a pity? Isn't it a crime? My journey's ended. Everything is splendid. Meeting you today. Has given me a wonderful idea. Here I stay. It's a funny thing. I look at you, I get a thrill. Nick never knew. Oh. 
like a dream the two of us a perfect team isn't it a pity we never met before imagine all the years we've wasted imagine that Nick Somewhere in red China, happiest of men, I'm sure to be before me. Tina's back with us. Oh, thank you, Tina. This is the best audience. I love it when people go home and then tune in. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, they're still with us. It had to be Tina. Somebody who could make me feel true, could make me blue, even be glad just to be sad, thinking of you. Some others I've seen might never be me, might never be cross. Try to be boss, they wouldn't do it. For nobody else gave me the thrill. With all your faults, I love you still. It had to be you, wonderful you. It had to be you. What else could we do in the key of G? Nick, that never entered my mind. Once I left, when I heard you say that I'd be playing solitaire. Now I 
It's not about breaking up and getting your heart broken. Like the rest of the songs are going to be. And it's an even better year Cause he's at Lounge Academy And these guys are wrestling Bye Alan Not, his nephew's getting tired. Okay, Alan's going to take him home. No, I'm, I'm tired. We got, we got a fantastic to see you, Alan. Thanks, Bert. And you look, great to be you look fantastic. Great to be I mean, seen. you really look great. great look at, look at you. your complexion. You can't see my complexion. You're, you're, you know, <laughs> that's why it looks so good. His complexion's all hairy. You take care. We'll see you later. Looks like we lost a camera. I'm trying to get the camera back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I think I wasn't here the first night. I did a couple weeks ago. Yes. I wonder if it became unplugged or something. Yeah. You got started.
Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to try to get that uh, dark camera back for you. Is this, uh, should I try to make a squeeze or no, we're just stand by, everybody. We're just trying to fix the camera. <laughs> My cousin Michael's retirement party. Well, nice to meet you. Well, Buffalo nice Police Defender. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and uh, okay. All right. Thanks for bearing with us through that little technical break. Looks like we're just going to be down to three cameras. One of the cameras decided to. Do that. It's all right. That's why we've got a lot of them. He probably did. Well, let's see what else could we do here. Now it's getting a little quieter. We could do a little bit of a quieter song. <laughs> I'm going to do a quiet song now, Tom. Okay, thank you. For you. It's a pretty song. I'll be tired of you. It's not about you, Tom. It's not about me. Okay, we'll do this one when the mood's a little better for you. I'm gonna bring you guys down with some depressing breakup songs. So quiet the room down. They'll be sobbing. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Alan. Have a great new year. Smoke. I would sit down they bother my sinuses too. I really like to stop. 
I, I could do them on occasion, but when I started singing, I had to quit cigars. That's why I came back to see you. I loved it. No, no, this guy. He would bust my chops. I love cigars. My kind of guy. Is that you and I show you up here with a cigar? It is. This one goes out to cigars. And Chris, Chris, Andriana, out there, my buddy. How are you, Chris? Chris is gonna teach me how to act. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No hurry, I'll be out of the bedroom. Did you say? You were perfect. You're perfect. I've got a lot to learn. Well, don't you think I'm trying not to learn? Since this is the perfect spot to learn, teach me tonight. Starting with the ABCs of it, right down to the XYZs of it. Help me solve the mysteries of it. Teach me to ignite. The sky's a blackboard high above you. And if the shooting stars go by, I'd like to try to write I love you. A thousand times across the sky, one thing's very clear, my love. Should the teacher stand so near, my love? Graduation's almost here, my love. Teach me, teach me tonight. Jenkins is out there watching and listening and playing along with his, his clarinet. It is that late in the evening. Would that not be nice? Yeah, Bill, Bill Jenkins comes along. Here's, here's a song that goes out to the new Buffalo Grand Hotel. Where's the hotel? It's, uh, they're building it over the, uh, the old Adams Mark. And it's going to be a convention center and everything. Move the convention center out of here. Can we please? Well, they they want they want as long as it's not where right, I'm right, sitting. Right. Uh, of all the that convention center where it sits now, it blocks Genesee Street. It separates Genesee from. Yeah, it kind of broke up the radio. It broke up the radio. Yeah. Come on, it's got to go. I like I like being their neighbor here. Um, but I don't like that great supper. Except, when they, except for when they eat a big breakfast, you know, they want to take over the next block. You had a beer donut, you had to have a 1900 
this one. I think I won't do that one. This one's too rangy. Put this one up. It's too rangy. Here's a better one. Here's one about Nick. They all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world needed a haircut. They all laughed when Edison recorded sound. They all laughed at Wilbur and his brother when they said that man could fly. They took Martoni, where was a phony? It's the same old cry. They laughed at me, wanting you. They said, I'm reaching for the moon. Oh, you came through. Now they have to change their tune. They all said I never could be happy. They all laughed and stood on how. Oh, who's got the last laugh now? They're all laughing. All right. Here's a slow dance. You can slow dance to this. This is, uh, this is Glenn Miller. Everyone, everyone dance to Glenn Miller. Why he brings a sigh every evening? Whispering your name. Why does Lene Rose wish us a happy new year? It's great to see you, Lene Rose, out there. Like Robin sang in December, it will be long before the springtime is due. And even though it's snowing, I know it's a pony. I know why, and so do you. Every evening, whispering your name as they do.
Thank you, Tom. No, no, no. Find some unusual. Oh, that's a great song. So you were just doing that, just sure, just to kind of tickle the keys a little bit. Yeah. Nice. It's like Tourette's. Yeah. Right. Cool. New Year's. We're down to three cameras. Tom and Jackie are at the piano. And we're on a mission from God. The summer knows. Summer smiles. Unashamed. She sheds her clothes, the summer smooths, the restless sky, lovingly warms the sand on which you lie. The summer knows, the summer's wine. In your eyes, and so she takes the summertime, tells the moon to wait and the sun to linger, twists the world round her sun. Oh. 
Scarborough. Thank you. But it's not the end. It's about falling in love with your teacher. Oh, I know. Hey, what that movie's about? Hey, we'll get in trouble for that now. Yeah. Like that. Hell yeah, that's what it's about. What's the name of the movie? Yeah. Summer Knows. You know, summer Knows. From the theme from oh, Summer of 42 D. One says I forgot my sunglasses. I sure did. If it's sunglasses, it's it must be sunny. Good night, Lynn. It's been fun having you with us. Sunny. Yesterday my wife was filled with rain. Sunny. He smiled at me and really eased the pain. Dark days are done, bright days are here. My sunny one shines all sincere. Sunny, you are so true. I love you. Happy New Year, Lynn Averill. Lynn Averill says Happy New Year, everybody. Everybody says Happy New Year, Lynn. She's going to sell a house a day in 2019. Yeah. And Matt Quagliano, they're going to change his face on all those signs on the front lawns, and he's going to look like this. Because Lynn's going to freak him out. not going to know what hit him. Picture you upon my knee, just two for two, and two for Mary and Nick, and Kathy. Picture you upon my knee, just two for two. And two for tea. You, me for you, and you for me. Watch your, your I'm sorry. Oh, my grandmother. My grandmother. Nobody near us to see us or hear us. No friends or relations on weekend vacations. We won't ever know, dear, that we own a telephone. Dear. Start to bake a sugar cake for me to take for all the boys to see. We will raise a family, a girl for you and a boy for Jackie Z. Can't you see how happy we will be? I keep staring at you because you look, you look different without the green hair. Well, I'm, I'm this, this is like a new look. <laughs> For 2018, I want to like have the same effect without the wig. <laughs> I see. Yeah. I, I think I get it. Well, you you do. Crazy. You still got that kapowie. Yeah, kapowie. Yes, you're here. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You've, you've like. What's the word I'm looking for? She she took that that green wig and it's now infused in you. Where you don't need it. It's like a tea bag. You throw away the tea bag and you're the tea. That's a really good analogy. Oh, well, thank you. It was a lucky. It's going to be a big, big year for Jackie Z.
big things are going to happen. You know why? Because she, she ran out of alphabet. Where do you go? Pass Z. Right? To the top. To the top. We're flipping through the great American songbook. Oh, this is a great song. Oh, I did this song. I wonder I like it. Oh, here's a hipster song. It's pretty challenging. I probably shouldn't do it. But I, I, it's fun. This is sometimes. This is always. This isn't maybe, this is always, this is love. Taxes, right? A lot of paperwork and show business. What a great song. Wish I could do this. <coughs> Gone is the romance that once was so divine. Just broken and cannot be something. Irving Berlin, what great songs he wrote. This is a song I learned from Mark Murphy in our living room.
thank Mark Murphy teaching man that song in our living room. Wow, fantastic. And I found the tape of it last night. Wow. Yeah. In 2001. I found a bunch of 2001 tapes. I'm going to, they're on analog. I'm going to, they're, they're video. I'm going to figure out how to put them onto my computer and then get them up to YouTube. You'll see yourself in 2001. You haven't changed a bit. It's just like here. It's the end of the night. You're hanging out, helping us clean up the spots. I heard used to hear a lot of that from the when you were in town. Yeah, well, they became uh, tight. In fact, they're talking about Ari, and they hardly knew Ari in this tape. It's funny. He was just a student, and he had helped uh, Mark Murphy once. You know, he manned his CD selling table at a, at a, at a the old, the old house, yeah. 153? 153. 153. I'm getting close to you guys. 153. The old house. The old house downtown. The old house downtown. The country dance was being held in a garden. I felt a bump in her. Oh, beg your pardon. You don't mind my super one Not at all. Not, you don't mind me playing another one. Such a pleasure. Polka dots and moonbeams All around a pug nose dream The music started And was I the perplexed one I held my breath and said May I have the next one In my frightened eyes Polka dots and moonbeams In a pug nose dream There were questions In the eyes of other dancers When we floated over the floor There were questions But my heart knew all the answers and perhaps a few things more. Now in a cottage built on lilacs and laughter, I know the meaning of the words ever after. And I'll always see hope and doubts and moonbeams when I kiss a pug. And moonbeams. I always was just, I, I, when I was just a I thought they looked so good. And I had this long, straight, big, huge nose. I always thought pug nose looked so cute. Yeah, my friend in high school, she had a pug nose. My friend, man, still has a pug I hate that. I hate that. They look too cute. Too cute by hand. Not based on goddamn things. Of you, I love the looks of, oh, of you, the sweet of you, you guys are just so yeah. of you, the out. eyes, the arm, the mouth of you, east, west, north, oh, yes. and that south of you. I love that picture of your 
ladies there. Isn't that great? Yeah. They, they looked, I mean, they were really enjoying it. It made me feel great. Uh, you know, I think, I think you should, I think you should sign them by the pound. Because those suckers are so heavy. Yeah, the, the ones them, I gave you for are like over seven ounces. I, I, like, I, when I grab those things, I Mary and St. Louis, they are heavy. So it must be by the lard. What is it? Lard, pound, pound, lard. She lard, ain't heavy. She ain't heavy. He ain't she's heavy. My, she's my pounder. Here's her donut. <laughs> when I hear that serenade in blue. <laughs> it's still the other one, see? I'm just going to keep here. Yeah, I'm somewhere in another world. Alone with you. Sharing all the joy. Comes back to me just like a theme from some forgotten melody. Thank you. 
Oscar Peterson court. I like that. You know, but I, and, and if you recall, the, the, I think that's the, it. Uh, the battle that went on between Frankie Valley and uh, 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 Brian Wilson and uh, the is that right? Uh, so I, I thought I thought that I thought it was always that battle between the falsettos. The, the, and, and they sure had them. The, the, the Beach Boys. They were ahead of their time, don't you boys. think? I went to Endless Summer. Oh, Endless Everyone was ahead of their time. I, not like Pro Call Harem. One of the craziest things. Well, no, not like Pro Call Harem. Oh, no, yeah. Well, you're watching the, what we like to call the epilogue of Lounge Academy. Can you play that? Pro Call Harem? No, I bet Bob Davis knows that, that one. That's a really bomb, bomb, bomb. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Call, call here. Unbelievable. One of the great, great, great. So nice to see Joe Murray, uh, Joe Marani out there. How you doing, sir? <laughs> uh, this is the epilogue of the show. Where we need Mary over here for the epilogue. Mary, epilogue, Mary, epilogue. Sure, we kind of. Talk about what we all learned at Lounge Academy tonight and what transpired. And, and we talk about all the people that left and we talk about even more the people that never joined us. That was that was the big thing. It was the big headline of the night that Alan the return of Alan McCausland. Surprised us. Just just showed up. The rest of us are all just part Looking of the great too. Yes, I know, looking great. And he looks like he feels good. Hale and Hardy? Yes. Well, it's your life. That's yes, that's, that's, I know, and enjoying life. That was kid. great to see you're alive. Today. You're doing pretty good. And then we also saw Jackie without the green wig. Yeah, that was different. <laughs> she looks funny without the green hair, but you know she she's become the green wigged lady. I know that's the the without green, the wig. The green wigged lady. Yeah, but uh, it's almost it's almost impronounceable. It, it is. Green wig lady. <laughs> green wig, green well, wig lady. She was here wearing the green wig. No, no, she would come in with a big green afro. Yeah, green and actually, it made us look tremendously good. She just lady. came in with a big green, green afro. Uh, she the said big green lady. Wow. Yeah, yeah, the the nice lady. Sounds good. And then the most of us, she'd get up and do some stand-up comedy with a green afro. It was really fun. I thought that was Tom Jones. The big green lady. She's such a lady. Well, we had a really nice, really, really nice group of lounge cadets tonight. Well, Everybody was in the the same, everyone is in that same place, you know, because we've been sent through the funnel into that area between <laughs> Christmas and New Year, right? And we don't well, know which way is up. Exactly. We don't know yeah, if it's really. a weekend or a day know, before a weekend funny. or the day it after a weekend. I called Gary today and he said, Gary, isn't your party tomorrow? He said, no, it's New Year's <laughs> Eve. <laughs> it must have been the last one you had on a Saturday. I thought it was tomorrow. Was, nobody knows. Uh, nobody no. knows. It's crazy. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, sure. such a, it's such a pleasure to be here. You all, the lounge losers. No, well, Tom, it's a pleasure having you. This is great. Look at how I play some more songs for us. You there, entertain us. Hey. Yeah, I'll play this I, one. I like this one. A, it's a good song to play when it's quiet. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Of course, when it's noisy, you don't notice any mistakes. Your eyes don't shine. Like they used to shine And the thrill is gone When you're on lips 
when your lips touch mine I'm afraid of the masquerade Academy with a smile on my face, and I have that smile on my face. Thank you. No, for a wonderful it's a really evening. fun. For a wonderful evening. What a, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank, thank you. Thanks, Tom. What a nice Our time. pleasure. And we convene again and next thank week. Thank you, Lounge Cadets, live audience, thank and the rerun and audience. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been wonderful. Yeah, I can only find it's been a great year. Time. Our first first year of live streaming Lounge Academy was 2018. There goes Tom. He's walking out. He's heading toward the booth, which is the set of our other show, uh, Donut Tuesday TV. Well, Rich, I guess we're going to wrap it up, huh? Time to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. Time to dance with the dishes. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found somebody who to make me be true, to make me be blue, to be to be glad, just to be sad, thinking of you. Who brought these healthy veggies? Did you lock the uh, Susan? Oh, okay. Susan. Good move. Mary's getting really like good with the building. We'll hire her for security. It had to be you. It had to be you. Wandered around 
finally found somebody who could make me be true, make me be blue, and even be glad just to be sad thinking of you. Some others I've seen might never be me. Wonderful you, it had to be you at Big Blue, me and you at Lounge Academy, and with Rich playing us out on his harp. It's a great night. Thank you, everybody. Does anybody have any last requests? <laughs> we had a lot of big names out in the audience today. And, you know. I heard Gaia was out there. Gaia was out there. And, you know. She's out there in uh, the lake, lake shore area. A lot of showbiz names Angola. were in the audience. We wish Mike and Jackie a happy uh, New Year's. It was great for them to check in. Enjoy your time off. And uh, we'll see you again in the, new year. Uh, in the new year, a week from today, 7 o'clock. People always would say that work. I'll see you in the new year. And it always felt as if on the other side of this chasm. Oh, yeah. yeah, see you next year. See you in the new year. My name is Howard Goldman. I've been your host. My co-host is Mary Kunz Goldman and my sketch artist. And my harp blower <laughs> is Richie Sellers. He also fixes foul lines when the lights don't work. <laughs> my specialty. Yeah. You remember. I remember. You were the guy to do that. Yeah. Call Richie. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that thing. Why is it going off and no one's putting their foot in there? Sometimes dirt, sometimes Dust. probably got knocked Dust. around. Did it ever get like knocked out of alignment? Focus, yeah. The focus. There was focus to that. I don't think there they let a... anybody touch those except you and maybe Tommy Liss. I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow, what a memory. <laughs> it's I funny, how, how does a memory work? I was anyway, by what is a thought? I was Boulevard Mall the other day, and there was a little um, enclave. That's where the suburban lane garbage heaps were for the Sears, for the Sears building. It's still there, that little ramp kind of thing going into nowhere now. On the north side. Gee, the mall, I was there the other day, and it was dismal. And you remember the Boulevard Mall. It was yeah. so vibrant. All those people are on Amazon.com, yeah. including me. I don't go to the mall. Do you go to the mall much? You, you were there then. Once every few months. Inside. I've been kind of feeling like going back. I thought it would be just fun just because I haven't much. seen them all. Yeah, I know. I'm all, it's, it's just not much to it anymore. I'm all the night like, visitors. A lot of <laughs> I thought I'd go there and get into, have a riot. They, they, <laughs> they took the food court out. Oh, there's no food court? Not the Boulevard Mall. Anymore. Really? It's Dick's now back there. Oh. It opens up into Dick's boarding room. I never went to Dick's. Oh, it's a huge yeah, Boulevard store. Mall, I was in there. They have this bookstore that's nice in it. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. But otherwise, it, yeah, I mean, I didn't check Not out the whole mall. But there's yeah. some women's shops that are nice there. Yeah. Yeah, this bookstore, there's somebody who's just, I was talking to some of the clerks there, cause I, and it's an odd bookstore because they have some used books and new uh -huh. books, and, and she is just 
one of those bookstores run by some eccentric guy who's oh is the, he's the brother or something of the guy who ran Records Theater, isn't he? He's related to Lenny Silver. Really? Yes, because the really? woman told me that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And wow. But he's it's his thing, and he's just kind of this guy who collects books, and this is his store, and that's in that's Boulevard right. Mall. That's kind of like Lounge Academy. Going to one. I bought some antique kind of yeah, an art book about stuff. painting landscapes that was from the wow. 50s that was there. And, yeah, interesting things, though, and the prices are nice. And, Ooh, but apparently, Jesse said, yeah, the guy who runs it, it, it sounds like just some interesting thing, like the guy who used to run the used bookstore downtown and now has it in Tonawanda, where they're just a collector and not really out to make money so much as just oh. be in this and kind of cover, you know, cover oh, his hobby. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Watch, it's the guy's yeah, probably he, quietly making a fortune. Oh, I'm sure he is. Wants everybody goes, to think he's but, just but killing she time. Says, yeah, he brings stuff in yeah, several days a week. He'll bring in new things. Unless he's got... Yeah. Unless he's, he's, he's Amazon. Ama- 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 you know he might... He, that might just be his, like, base of operations for Amazon. It's like... Coin People yeah, do make yeah, money with books on Amazon. I don't know. I'm naive with this stuff, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. It's not a big comic book. But she said, anyway, he brings a new stuff yeah, every few days, and we just put it yeah, in. Yeah, I saw that. They didn't yeah. charge a lot. All right, well, good night, everybody, and happy new year. And uh, we'll see you, see you next. I love how I talk myself. Okay. Good night. No, keep talking. It's right. no, I'm gonna, i got to do the dishes okay, and no. eat. I'm hungry. Au revoir. A bientôt. Bye. I will now take the finger that has the power to create music and stop the transmission. You've got six more minutes if you want. <laughs> now we got more we got more time than they we got like thirty eight minutes. Wow. Before it before it kicks us off. Okay, good night everybody. Thanks for a great year. We had a great year at Lounge Academy. Appreciate all that support and all the participation. Uh, that the home audience, the home cadets, the home lounge cadets. have generously dispensed. So next year, we'll see you.